So AI has changed it again. Last night, ChatGPT dropped the Atlas browser. This now makes, I believe, three AI-controlled browsers. There's Perplexity's Comet, uh, Opera has Neon, and now ChatGPT's. Uh, if you didn't see, I did a comparison of those last night. It's pretty cool to watch AI actually run the internet for you. Uh, it's like living in Star Trek with a holodeck. It's pretty cool. You should definitely give it a try if you have not already. Now, uh, the next up here, Meta AI went crazy earlier this year spent about a hundred billion dollars just getting AI talent and as of this morning laid off 600 of those people. So jobs are being lost to AI but right now they're mostly high level and that's because everybody wants AI but nobody knows what they want to use it for outside of making videos and speaking of that Meta's Vibes. Uh, it's their version of Sora 2 with that TikTok style feed has absolutely exploded onto the App Store charts lately. Uh, it's grown, I believe, five-fold over the last couple of weeks alone. Still probably one of the few AI apps that I would directly tell you, don't use it because you don't have any way of opting out of any of your information being used in their training or, more importantly, used in any of their advertising. Definitely would suggest you steer clear of that one for right now. And the last major news story, Google's quantum computer just saw a 13,000 times speed boost. I've stated this before, but I believe for us to actually hit the level of artificial general intelligence, that is where the computer, the AI runs all of its own work, including iteration, updates, processing, all on its own, we're gonna need to actually hit solid quantum computing and we haven't been there yet but this alone is a massive step forward right now almost everything including the phone that you might be watching this on runs on what's called classic computing zeros and ones we're in the process of getting into what's called neuromorphic computing where it is ai assisted and works more like the human brain does quantum computing takes that and takes that up a notch beyond even the human brain's capabilities we're gonna see some really interesting things if we can see error correcting quantum computing come online here in the near future. Stick around, we're gonna have more updates because AI is changing every day.